Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to scrape PR Newswire for recently funded company announcements. If you're not sure what PR Newswire is, is a way of distributing your press releases wide and far by using their paid service. Funded companies love to announce their raise, which is useful information for us because when running cold email campaigns or trying to sell a service, we know they've got a big budget because they've just raised lots of money we can shoot them an email and say, you know, hey, do you want our service? So I'll show you how to do the scrape anyway and set it up. First of all, you will need to go to Google. Um, we are using a Google search operator. It's a way of defining a certain criteria for your search opposed to just doing a normal Google search. So we are using site semicolon. This will define the search by website only, not by global search. So we've got site semicolon, the website we want to search, which is prnewswire.com and funding or raised. This part is a Boolean search and the funding or raised will return back everything on PR Newswire, which includes these two words, funding or raised. When companies do these announcements, they use the same terminology, like we've just raised lots of money or we've just completed our funding campaign or something along those lines. You can change these words to whatever you see fit. Maybe your niche or whatever you want to scrape uses words slightly differently. That's completely fine. When we search for this, if we use Google News, it brings back recent announcements, which is good. Google News puts things in normally date order. So that helps us determine how fresh the material is we're working with. We can see here Fairmat announced 34 million Series A. That news was distributed one week ago. That is super fresh. So you could scrape this information, get Fairmat's email address for the founder or CEO, say congrats on your funding campaign. I got this offer for you. Would you like to buy it? Yes or no? To do the scrape, we need to use Hexomatic. You could do it one by one, but it's going to take you forever. So in Hexomatic, we need to set up a new workflow and we are going to use a Google News search scraper. We've got our search term here and we are pasting it straight into the Google News search. You need to choose which search type you want. So I'm using Google News search um, operating system. I don't think this makes much difference. So I've just selected Windows. I'm actually running on a Mac, but Hexomatic obviously can pretend it's on Windows or a Mac and then the country you want to search from. So I'm searching from United States. I run the search and what this will do, this will go to Google and it will collect the results and return it back into a spreadsheet. And the spreadsheet looks like this. So if we move my face, we can see here the news titles. We can see all of the announcements which we saw here, but now in a spreadsheet format, so you've now got a list of 50 companies that have raised money. You can see Better Health, 3.5 mil, uh, Monogram Health closed 160 million, UK startup Hayden raised 30 million. These companies have raised a lot of money all within the last couple of weeks. You could get a virtual assistant to go through this. They could grab a website for each company, then go to Apollo, upload your websites and then find the founder information, then extract their email address and then put them into something like instantly to send them a cold email offering your service. You could do this search for absolutely anything. It doesn't have to be funded companies, really narrow it down. A lot of people go straight to Apollo and they put in their sort of search phrase, which is fine, but sometimes you want a little bit more data, which is not as easy to access. If you use a Google search operator for a specific term like this, you will get back far better results and you could do far more with it. If you like this kind of video, drop me a subscribe on the channel. That'd be really helpful. And if it's helped you anyway, let me know in the comments below. Thanks very much.